And welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky, episode 27. Welcome back to the future, everyone. Ready, Benjamin? All set. Yep, let's get going. To Chasm Cave. So you remember back in Red Re uh oh. Oh. Um, in Red Rescue Team, how I was like, hey. Remember, um... The... What is it? Sky Tower is like Sky Pinnacle, basically. Whatever the name is of the second part of Sky Tower. This is basically... I was like, wait a second. Isn't this like the same... My layout? So yeah, as you'll see... Can, like, just compare the two. Because this seems really similar to like the first part. And then it goes into this. Where it's like the rooms on the outer edge and then a bunch of corridors in the middle. Thankfully I have bite, so it's a good thing I didn't get rid of that for reversal, eh? There's a bunch of rocks floating in the air. Oh, gravel rocks. So yes, now we actually get gravel rocks as a natural thing. Let's go to my side. Grab any items we can. Well, oh, offers a magnemite. You've gone feral. Or something like that. I don't know, you'd think that there'd be like characters from our world still in this world. Unless I guess this could be super, super far into the future. I don't know, I'm imagining that this is like a couple years after the events of, well, the present, I guess, since there's a natural past. Really? So, I don't know. Maybe we'll see some people that we recognize, although, maybe not. No, I feel like I talk too much for my own good. Oh, it's you. Oh, I'm actually a fighting type this game, so I don't have to worry about you. What's that got rid of? Let's get rid of you. Thankfully, items still exist, and somehow Petra Berries will stay fresh even though they shouldn't be able to grow anymore. I'm just, oh, I'm, every single time, I'm just confused about the physics of this world. Like, how do they drink water if the water would be stuck against the wall, right? Are actually pretty decent against these guys. <coughs> That's nice that it's not like if you pick a certain type of Pokemon, then you're just screwed. Break those bricks. Okay, good. Uh, never mind. Aftermath. I'm not 100% sure how Aftermath works. I've never been... Oh, I've never really understood how Aftermath worked. And I've never really gotten Pokemon with Aftermath, so I've never really had the opportunity to look at their abilities. Look, Benjamin! Could that be the exit over there? Let's go check it! Okay, we made it out. Speaking of water... <sighs> Oh, oh. Do we gain some distance over those stable eyes? Oh, oh. <coughs> Should rest a little now. Look, there's water there. <coughs> what? This waterfall. The water is not flowing one bit. Gushing water is totally suspended in space. 
Is Gorval right after all? Has time really stopped in the future? Why did Desner bring us here? Nick Desner was so kind to us. I don't know what to believe anymore. If only there was some way of finding the truth. Oh, I know. There's a way of getting at the truth, Benjamin. What? Your dimensional scream. Use your dimensional scream, Benjamin. Touch this frozen water. Who knows? You may see something. Oh, I understand. That's true. It's worth a try. In that frozen water. It might give us clues about what's happening to us. We shouldn't waste any time. The civil will catch up to us. Let's do this quickly. Benjamin, touch the frozen spray of water. But nothing interesting happened. How's it going, Benjamin? Can you see anything? No. I'm not sensing anything. No, huh? Uh, if that's a disappointing, we are reassuring if we could begin to understand what's happening. and learn anything at all. Could you imagine the dimensional screen going to, like, us getting torn apart by the sale vice? Yeah, Pokemon is for everyone, ain't it? Insert common joke everyone says about every single game that's E-rated. Without realizing how E-ratings work. Neither do I realize it, but, eh. We spend a lot of time here. If we don't hurry, those sable will catch up to us. See where they can go, Benjamin. We need to run. Get moving as soon as you're ready. Hey, how convenient. So yeah, this is actually quite similar to um <coughs> the fugitive branch. So it's weird. This game basically has sort of like two fugitive branches. Well, fugitive arcs. As the last game, because it has the whole idea like, oh, you're going through a bunch of connected levels, but then now you actually have something that's really close to the future door. Benjamin, are ready? Okay, let's go. Oh, yes. Welcome to the fact ghost Pokemon exist and that they can just go through walls. Why? Because they're ghosts. Is that fair? Not at all when they can just attack you at the wall. You have to like move three. I forbid your partner just sits there. I don't actually think your partner. Actually, if he was. Pretty resistant, actually. Good. You don't want spite. That's actually a big difference between, um. The normal series and the mystery dungeon series is that normal attacks and fighting attacks will actually hurt um, ghost Pokemon because otherwise the game would become impossible. Because you only have access to your full moves, you don't have access to six Pokemon. And even then, it's not super normal. Bennett. Hi, Bennett. It's not super easy. To actually position your and your Pokemon. Not me. Ah, gravelly rock. Rock. The gravelly rock. A very okay. This is an IQ item. Gravelly rock is a very hard rock, like candy. When eating it, somewhat fills the Pokemon's belly. It permanently raises the IQ of a team member. It only affects um, Bonsley and Sue Widow. Look at that for gravelly rock, so be sure to be careful when using it. Although it doesn't, not, I mean, it doesn't negatively affect you. Oh, good. I should attack that ghastly just so that we can maybe bite it to death. Yeah, and she can take out that guy. Well. Good, level 27. 3, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1. Level 27. I did it. Leveled up. 2, 1, 1, 1, 1.
Hmm. Wow. And that's critical hits for you, right? Oh dear, I didn't mark that quiz score. Now, thankfully, the dungeons aren't individually as long as the um, normal dungeons. Like, you know, before this, we had um, like some fairly long dungeons, like 24 dungeons, basically. Thankfully, that doesn't exist, uh, as far as I remember, in the future. But again, it's you can't like go to catch in store or God forbid throw your money that you'll be amassing. Which? Eh. I mean for this being the third dungeon in a row. It's not actually that good. Okay, and that crit should be quick attacking. Not run into anything for a while now. Thankfully, I don't think we'll be facing another dungeon with such a high amount of ghost types. That's why you keep food on you. Well, no. That's why you keep, um... See, now all my big apples have been spoiled. Wonderful. We're not gonna be in any trouble, but... I was like, yeah, let's get rid of all the Amberies. Let's not, because I this Umbra can't if she gets too low. Then she can't be then she becomes useless. Hmm. I guess she sort of is a coward. Sort of. I mean. Oh, good. Yeah, this would be very, very difficult if I didn't actually have, um, bite. Let me find a bliss score. Get this dust clops in time. Especially if it keeps on doing that. Mm, fine. I think we're almost at the exit of Dark Hill, anyways. I don't remember if this is 13 or 14 size floor. Oh god, not you again. Hmm, it seems I've picked the w worst possible combination of Pokemon for the future. Well, for ghost types. elixirs. To be fair, I don't think I've ever used a max elixir for my inventory. Yeah, this is 14. Maybe even 15. Who knows?
What is this, like the second time? Uh, oh god, there's a 15th floor. That's why I have this thing, isn't it? Just normal attack. I mean, I know you can't because your IQ is set so that you don't, but... Rule 28! Two, one, one... One, one. Remember, it's set to evolve. Why after this guy? Twenty-eight. Got it. Leveled up. Two, one, 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 one. So basically, this is where we just super like level up now. Things are fairly easy to two-shot or three-shot, which is you know how it norm how you normally want it to be. Okay, we mounted it. Oh, oh, we've climbed a long ways up. Wow, look at that, Benjamin. How can light flow? Because the photons should be frozen, right? It was true. The future really is a world of darkness. That cluster of lights, it's beautiful, but those lights... Isn't that the stockade? Say, Benjamin. The great Dustnor saved us more than once. He told us many things, too. That's why I really looked up to Dustnor. Was Dustnor deceiving us? After all this, I still can't believe it. I don't know what to believe anymore. I'm feeling all jumbled up. Umbra. What should we... What should we do now? Can we ever stop running? Can we get back to our own world? Everyone at the guild... I wonder how they're doing. Where we disappeared. Are they worried about us? We have Chatot, Bidoof, and everyone else. I wonder if they're doing well. I miss the guild. I want to see everyone. I was feeling pretty down. It's only natural. It's happened so far. It's all so hard to believe. I'm scared too. But I can't give up now. I'll keep on going. The stable eye will catch us. I have to do something to cheer up, Umbra. Words this work will seem like false comfort right now. Something I could say. Something that offers a glimmer of hope. Some hope we could work towards. It could be anything. You need to think of something. Oh, where's Benjamin? We need to find Grovile. He's the only one who has any inkling of what's happening here, who isn't trying to kill us. Harden, you want to go after Grovile? Why? I need to ask him. Ask him something? Oh, I get it. I went to our world from here the first time, so Grovile shouldn't have to travel to a world, but... Grovile a bad Pokemon? Yeah, isn't Dustinor supposed to be a good Pokemon? Yeah, I think if Dustinor flipped... I'm thinking it's very likely that Grover was flipped the entire time. Didn't he come to a world to steal the time gears? I'm supposed to trust anything he may say. What you, Benjamin? Do you trust Gary? You have to trust him. Well, I can't trust him. Woman like that? Never. There's no way that I can trust him. It's just no way, but... But, I understand, Benjamin. I don't know why, but Dustin wants to get rid of us. It's the only other Pokemon we know here in the future. He's only Grover. We don't have any choice. Let's pin our hopes on Grover. Well then, okay. Okay, Benjamin, let's track down Grovel. Meet with Grovel and ask him how we can get back to our world. Umbra. Let's go, Benjamin. Let's go after Grovel. Benjamin, thank you. You tried to cheer me up because I was feeling down. Even though you should be just as scared as I am, Benjamin. I'm sorry. You know, I have my closest, my most precious friend with me. I worried all alone. I almost gave up alone. But in fact, I'm not alone. I won't give up anymore. Because you're by my side, I can be brave, Benjamin. I'm going to be fine now. So let's keep going, Benjamin. Let's get back to our world. Together! <laughs> I love that music box. <coughs> well, we found a structure that's both good or bad. The last structure we found was uh, our death area, supposedly, so... This girl I left has been one straight shot without bra branching paths. Grover should be ahead of us. Let's go, Benjamin. Let's catch up to Grovile. Let's catch up to Grovile. We'll leave as soon as you are ready.
Okay, so, so far, our stock of revives is doing well. Okay, save it, because that's going to be the end of the episode. So, if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. See ya!